These days, low-calorie meals are at the top of the menu for 45-year-old Eric Wilcoxon of Poplar Bluff. Like others who are severely overweight, Wilcoxon was desperate to lose weight. He once weighed more than 400 pounds. Heaviest ever was, was 409 pounds. He has been heavy most of his life, and for a long time, he tried dieting and other weight loss ideas, but not for long. After several medical scares, Wilcoxon says he was, quote, tired of being fat. He decided to try something new, so new that it was still undergoing clinical trials. It's a program called Aspire Assist Aspiration Therapy. Aspiration therapy is the process of emptying food from the stomach. That was almost four years ago, and now the married father of two teenagers has lost more than 150 pounds. Washington University in St. Louis is one of a handful of national institutions involved in the trials that have since gained FDA approval. Fire Assist has been revolutionary in that it's the first non-surgical device that's been proven uh, and kind of has a tested track record that results in significant weight loss without the risk of surgery. The procedure is not cheap. Health insurance will cover some of the costs, but not all. Here's how it works. The therapy lets patients remove about 30% of the food from the stomach before digestion. That's what causes the weight loss. A small device is placed in the stomach that can't be seen under clothing. Doctors say that while it's an invasive procedure, it's not an operation. 30 to 60 minutes after eating a large meal, the patient goes into a restroom and connects the tube to an external device. This allows him to remove the food that he has just eaten. Wilcoxon says at first he was a little grossed out by the procedure, which he says is a little like vomiting out of your stomach. But he adds with diet and exercise, he lost a lot of weight. I still want to lose another 40 or 50 pounds, and I will slowly lose it but I'm not embarrassed to walk around now. Aspiration therapy is definitely about losing weight. The doctors say it's also about treating the patient both emotionally and psychologically. We work with a behavior coach and registered dietitian for every patient to work on the issues that led to the weight gain and led to obesity and address unhealthy both eating and lifestyle patterns. The therapy requires that food be chewed very, very slowly so that it can be aspired through the two small devices. Doctors add, in order for all this to work, patients must eat smaller portion sizes and consume fewer calories. This all contributes to the gradual weight loss. But critics have raised questions about the procedure and whether it's a form of assisted bulimia. Dr. Kushner responded this way. Bulimia is really a psychological diagnosis at its heart, where people have a misperception of what their body looks like. So it's a body image disorder, more so even than it is an eating disorder. Worldwide, doctors say more than 500 people have taken part in the therapy program. For Innovations, I'm Sharon Stevens.